Kitchen, everybody. I'm here today with Teresa Susi, and I love cooking with Teresa. And if you are looking for a healthy snack for yourself and your children that's great to travel with, this is your lucky day because we're going to be teaching you how to make really quick and easy kale chips. They taste really good, they travel really well. Teresa and I were just at a course together, and uh, we brought some with us while we were traveling, and it really saved us because. We're a little picky about the food that we eat on the road. It's not, not easy to find the no, stuff that we like. No, and those kale chips, oh, they're so nutritious, and kids love them. Yeah. So we, um, it's especially nice because if you go to the store, you can buy kale chips, uh, but a lot of them, first of all, they're extremely expensive. Right. And also, they have a lot of ingredients in there that I don't really like. Some of them have sugar. A lot of them have just, you know, health ingredients that I wouldn't necessarily put into my food. So. You can make them with whatever you like. You can put spices on them. You can right. make it real simple and uh, flavor it out, hot or plain. Yeah. So we're going to show yeah. you how to make it. We just took a little kale from my garden. Um, so if you have your own garden, you can do it yourself. Otherwise, you know, just go to your local farmer's market or health food store and get some organic kale. Organic. Right. And we're ready to go. Okay. So, well, let's show them. Let's show them. Okay. What we're going to do is you just take your kale, you wash it, and then make sure it's dry, it's really dry. And I'm going to take a little bit of coconut oil, and you really don't need too much. And I'm going to coat the um, kale with the coconut oil. After we get the kale covered with coconut oil, then we're going to put a little sea salt. The Himalayan salt is what I like to use. Don't need too much. Um, and there's other uh, seasonings that can be added at this point, you know, cayenne or a little Italian seasoning. So it's pretty flat in the baking dish. You can use a cookie sheet. Now we're going to put it in the oven. I have it on a very hot oven. I had 450, uh, so it's good and hot. I'm going to just turn it right off. That way we can be sure that it's not going to burn because these go very quickly. So you want to keep a close watch on them. And it's been 10 to 12 minutes. You just keep checking them out. And you can see how crispy they are. Mm. Right? And they come right apart. Mmm! So good! So we just showed you how to make the kale chips with the younger kale that has really fine stalks. But a lot of kale, especially if you buy it at the store, most of the time it's going to have a tougher stalk like this one. And so what you can do is Teresa's just breaking it off. So you can use your hands, you can get your kids to help you um, to pull it off. Or you can take a knife and cut into it. I'll let Teresa show yep. you. Right down, right down, right beside the stock itself. You just follow that line and then it will come right out. Like so. And then you can break them into the size pieces you would like. You know, you might want little smaller pieces. Um, but you know, if the kids are helping you, you definitely don't want them using a knife so they can just have fun and go right up the stalk. It's very easy. Huh? It's easy. And it's much tastier that way. I mean, you can make them with the stalk intact, but then when you chew into them, you're kind of going to have to pull it off anyway because it's not, you don't really want to eat the stalk. I mean, you can eat it. It's not bad for you, but it doesn't taste as good. Yeah. So there you have it. Perfect.
better than popcorn. Definitely better than popcorn. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And healthier. Much healthier than potato chips. a little bit of um, that those chili peppers on this. I love that flavor too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfectly. recommend if you can get really young kale, grow it in your garden, and just clip them off as, as they're growing. They are the best. You don't have to cut so much off. Right. Mm. 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 Didn't your father tell you? Yes, I was going to say. My mother said, <laughs> <laughs> never lick your fingers. Oh, you know what? But with something like this, I mean, yeah, I don't know. you just can't help it. It's okay. so good. I'd love for you to visit my website, RestoreMethod.com, to subscribe to my blog, sign up for my newsletter, and check out all the other resources I've developed to support you in your journey.